Hi, this is Michael from MVR Music Lessons, and today I'm going to be talking about chords. So let's jump right into it. Now, first of all, your guitar should be tuned. You should know what each string is. And if you don't remember that from the last video, um, I'll go ahead and review it real fast. We'll start with this thinnest string. That's the first string. And we'll go all the way to the sixth string, which is the thickest one. So the first is an E. Now the second is going to be a B. The third is a G. The fourth is a D. Next is an A. It's the fifth string. Now the sixth string is an E again. But it's a lot lower than the other one. They sound the same, but this one's a lot deeper. Now we're going to jump right into the chords, but first you should really know what frets are, so... That's 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret. These little lines right here, they're all frets, they go up by number. It's not that difficult to figure out. Um, to play a fret, you hold your finger right behind it. You don't want to be directly on it. It kind of mutes it, and sometimes you'll get some buzzing. You want it right behind it. And then that rings out a lot nicer. You want your finger to be just behind the fret. And these little fret markers right here, you have a dot there. Some guitars don't have those. And usually you'll have some on the side right here. Especially if your guitar doesn't have them on the front. <clears throat> uh, if you don't have any, I mean, you can just count up and know which one's what. And eventually you'll get used to that. But this is the third fret. The dot starts on the third. Some people have one down here. I don't. Um, some people have a weird design. This is pretty standard. You have one on the 3rd, the 5th, and then on up you have one on the 7th, and the 9th, <clears throat> and the 12th. And then up past that there's even more. But right now, just for chords, we just need up throughout the 3rd or 4th one. So, hopefully that gives you a basic idea of frets and what each string is. Now we're going to talk about fingers. This is your 1st finger, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. You need those memorized to play chords, because Eventually you'll look at chord diagrams and stuff, and you'll see numbers inside of little circles, or just numbers written over the strings on certain frets and stuff, and, you know, what do those numbers mean? Well, they're talking about your fingers. Your fingers each have numbers. And chord diagrams tell you what fingers to use so that you're not trying to play a chord like that or something. That would be really confusing and hard. So, you're going to use these two fingers, your second and third, to play an E minor chord. Now to do that, you take your second finger, put it on the second fret of the A string, which is the fifth string, and this note is a B. But right now we're just kind of in beginner basic stuff, so don't worry about what the note name is. Just know you're on second fret of the A string with your second finger. Now the string next to that, the fourth one, you're going to play that with your third finger. And you're going to do that on the 2nd fret as well. So right now you have these two notes. And then after that, you're going to leave all the other strings open. And as well as those, you're going to play the lowest string open. Now when you just strum your finger or your pick or whatever you're using across that, that's an A minor, I mean E minor chord. Now A minor, we're going to jump over and it's shaped like this. These two fingers the exact same. You know, this chord reminds me of, like, Spider-Man or something. Um, these fingers are going to stay on here. Now, this finger goes down, and that is going to be your first finger on the first fret of the second string, which is a B string. It's going to sound like that. Now, when we play those three strings that we have our fingers on, it does that. We have a chord. That's three notes. They're all different, they make a chord, but we want it to sound a little more full. Like that. So to do that, we play every other string open except for this lower one. If we played that open, it just kind of muds it up. You could use it for something, but for right now, just know that you should really just play an A string, I mean an A chord starting on the A string, because it's an A chord, so the root note, the lowest note, should be an A. It just sounds a lot nicer. 
So that's pretty much it for this lesson. On my next one, I'll kind of show you how to use those chords, and I might teach you another one, too. Um, I hope you can learn from this, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Be sure to check out my website at mvrmusiclessons.webs.com. And there's going to be tons of other videos on there like this. I've got some for other instruments and also music theory. Music theory is something you should really check out if you're getting serious about music. It's really important. So that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.